I remember I also had a sort of unwritten law was that uh, anybody who was wounded, I would try and get him out of the area within seven minutes. Referred to as the Owens, Afrikaans for the boys or the guys, the young soldiers of the RLI, many of whom were only 16 or 17, would carve for themselves a reputation as some of the world's foremost proponents of counterinsurgency warfare. This is their story. The Saints tells a story about both the past and the present, because they are indeed a continuum. It tells a story about the Rhodesian Light Infantry and the young soldiers who fought bravely and fiercely in a remote African war 30 years ago, and in the process became legends that will never disappear from the annals and tongues of military historians. It tells a story of some things we need to know and remember for all time. Corporal Keith Nelson, ex-US Special Forces and RLI medic. Once we'd taken off, I was in the first wave of uh, stops which had to go in and we were dropped off um, very, fairly close to the actual target area itself. Now, I'd just, I'd just like to explain um, a little bit of the air side with uh, immaculate sort of coordination. We had the, um, the Canberras coming and dropping in their bombs and this looked very good indeed from where we were up in the choppers. As we were going in, the hunters were coming in for their strike with all their rockets and their front gun. Just before we got onto the ground, there was um, large explosions, etc., from the bombs, rockets, and also the guns which had been used by the various aircraft. And once we were on the floor, um, you couldn't see much after that because the, the ground was pretty thick. But then um, we went through after the air attack had gone in and we did a sweep of the area. We tried our normal operations, uh, a throwback to Malaya days, we, <coughs> normal tracking, following up and so on. But we weren't getting anywhere because they were starting to mix with the locals and uh, the locals were protecting them. RLI paratroops normally jump from 500 feet, giving the hot climatic conditions and thin air of Rhodesia. From aircraft exit to landing on the ground generally took less than 20 seconds. The lowest officially recorded operational jump occurred in 1979 when support commando paras were dropped in error from a mere 200 feet. There were no fatalities, but many were badly injured. Des Archer, a one commando corporal, holds the world record for operational parachute descents, a staggering 73 op jumps. And nowhere in the world uh, will you ever find any statistics like that. Sometimes they would parachute two or even three times to action in one day. Typical RLI troopies, if you look at paratroopers, they all wear steel helmets, boots and denims and all that. Our guys, a lot of them used to jump in on fire force uh, with a pair of shorts and tackies. Uh, uh, and it was unheard of and uh, 
We tried to stop it, but we gave up in the end. Uh, they were quite happy doing it that way.